Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. This has got to be the third time that I've done this video because I've had endless problems with guitars and scratch plates and all that sort of stuff. So today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is taking this guitar, which is the last guitar that I bought, which is a Fender Custom Shop, I think it's a 62, with a humbucker in the bridge. And I'm gonna be fitting these pickups to it. These pickups are a set of Kinman Magnum Opus 59 pickups. Now, what I initially thought I was gonna do with these pickups is to put them on my PRS Silver Sky. The problem that I had with the Silver Sky was the pickups didn't fit in. Now, standard sort of Fender style pickups like this, as you can see, it's got like a little sort of V shape on it, don't fit in a PRS Silver Sky. So what I thought I'd do in this video is to whip out these pickups and put those pickups in. So let's talk about this guitar first. Now, I love the neck and the middle pickups on this guitar. I think they sound absolutely fantastic. The bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan Jeff Beck. It's really, really dark. And to be honest, I'm struggling with that pickup. What I was gonna do is to keep the neck and the middle pickup on this and just to get another humbucker and place it there. But as I've got this set of Kimman Magnum Opus 59 pickups, I thought that I'd whip these out and put them in. So I've got another scratch plate here and you guys don't need to see me attaching these pickups to this scratch plate. All I will say about these pickups are that these pickups are completely solderless. So they come with a wiring harness and this makes it incredibly easy for swapping out pickups because there's no soldering involved. It's literally stick that in the new scratch plate, attach it to the guitar and it's all done. It even comes with the jack socket, the switch and everything is wired up. And the great thing about Kimman pickups is that they come with these easily attachable and detachable connectors. So let's get to it. Before I change all the pickups, I'll just show you how this guitar sounds. So here's the neck. So they're really glassy. Here's the neck and middle. Middle. Middle and bridge. It's that combination that I would never use. And now the bridge. And if I had a bit of gain to that, It sounds all right in its own, but if I now move that to the neck position. They feel a little bit unbalanced. The neck position is really bright, middle position is really bright. And because the bridge pickup is really dark, I almost feel like I've got to have different EQ settings for all pickups. So let's change the pickups in this and we'll put in the Kinman set. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to make sure that this scratch plate fits on this guitar because as I said, this is the third time that I've done this. So let's whip this scratch plate off and just check that. So that definitely fits all the screw holes line up. Now, if I can offer one piece of advice, do not buy a cheap off the market uh, scratch plate. Go and get a Fender one. If you've got a Fender guitar, go and get a Fender scratch plate because 
I bought a cheaper scratch plate just to do this project and the screw holes were ever so slightly out so they didn't line up which was a complete pain in the backside. So don't waste your time or your money, go and buy a Fender one. They're more expensive but it's worth it in the long term. Now because I'm going to leave everything attached to this scratch plate because I've got a new scratch plate, I'm just going to take this scratch plate off completely intact. Things that I would recommend when you're doing pickup swaps, just try and keep everything together and it really does save time if you go and buy a separate scratch plate because, because as I said, everything is attached to one thing. So I know that if I need to put this pickup set back, I can, and it will literally just take me five, 10 minutes. Literally that took about five minutes to get everything in to this scratch plate because there is no soldering. It just makes it incredibly easy to change pickups. Now, I've never changed pickups in a guitar before. What I normally tend to do is to hand my guitar over to someone that's far more qualified than myself, but that is incredibly easy. Now, all I've got to do is connect that to the jack socket or the jack plate, this thing, on the strap and get it wired in. Now that took a numpty like myself about an hour to do all that. Now that's taking the old scratch plate off, unwiring it all, putting the new pickups in the new scratch plate and connecting it to the strap. So let's see how it sounds. This is the neck position. <laughs> Now instantly I prefer that to the old pickup set. The old pickup set, as I said, had that really sort of glassy tone. It really worked well for certain things, but this. It's a much more balanced, full sort of sound. Let's hear that with a bit of drive on it. Now that sounds great, much more like my master built strat over there, which has uh, 59 star pickups on it as well. Let's try the neck and middle. Awesome. Uh, middle. Middle and bridge. That's so much better. And now the bridge. The bridge position is night or day difference. Now, I know that the old pickup was a humbucker, but I think I much prefer single coils. That for me is, that's got all the clarity that I need. And it isn't that sort of woolly tone that I got from the humbucker. Now, I could have made exceptions and I could have changed the pot, the volume pot uh, for the humbucker and um, I could have brightened up that humbucker a little bit, but that sounds great. Because we've got the wiring harness in here as well, what I can do by winding back this tone control here is to bring in the neck pickup with the bridge. So we can start to get some of those uh, in-between telly sort of sounds. It's great, it's got loads of clarity. So the difference again. And we can obviously blend that in between the two. Now it's got a couple of other little tricks where if I switch to the second position, 
we can switch between series and parallel. So that makes the second position really useful for like overdriven tones as well. Let's try the bridge overdriven. Now that sounds great. And because they're noiseless pickups, the volume's full up on the guitar and we're getting no noise. Now, if I switched over to the guitar with single coils or normal single coils, that would be creating a hell of a lot of noise. Sounds great. So there you have it. If you're someone like myself who really doesn't like soldering, is not confident in soldering, and always has to give your guitar to a luthier to deal with every time you want to change pickups, the Kinman pickup set not only sounds fantastic, but it's incredibly easy to change, even as I said, for a numpty like myself. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.